What's going on everybody? We're here on a Thursday and today's we're gonna do probably the best one out of this in my opinion Kyle Larson's HendrickCars.com from the 40th anniversary set. So if you watched all four of them, we started off on Monday with Alex Bowman, Tuesday went to William Byron, Wednesday was Chase Elliott, Thursday it's Kyle Larson. Cars look incredibly beautiful. Yeah, we went through a couple little steps of my opinions. If you want to go back and watch them, my opinions are in all these videos. Of course, they all lead to Alex Bowman. We're not going to get into that one. We're in Kyle Larson. We're Thursday. We've skipped past Monday. So here's actually what the box looks like. It's a beautiful box. Don't get me wrong. The box is incredibly beautiful. I like how they've done this. It always looks good. You got Hendrix Motorsports 40th Anniversary 4 Car Set 2024-0, the Camaro ZL1 Limited Edition NASCAR sticker, and of course you get the pictures. These are actually all on the back of the box, which the front of the box looks just like this. It's not as pretty. I mean, yeah, with the cars in it, but I mean the cars aren't going to be in it, so yeah, it looks alright from the front. But now the back is where probably the best part of it is. You got Hendrick Motorsports 40th Anniversary since 1984 and then of course you get all four pitchers William Byron, Alex Bowman, Kyle Larson and Chase Elliott and then you get all four of the cars together which I love that picture I've said it in all the videos that's probably the best picture of them all so in celebration of Hendrick's 40th anniversary season Hendrick Murder Sports teammates Kyle Larson, Chase Elliott, William Byron, Alex Bowman each race day special ruby red paint scheme commemorating where the team won its first race in 1984. This special 164 scale die cast set spotlights in the team's incredible history with the four car replicas that r raced at Martinsville Speedway in April. So that's what the back of the box says. Looks good. You got the QR code. I forgot to say that. So overall box looks good. Do you like it? All four corners just say Hendrick or four car 164 scale set and on top says the same thing sides says the same thing trademarks underneath so overall it looks good and i've been sitting here with how to collect how to put all these boxes together so just going down the list so like i said monday tuesday wednesday thursday so that's actually what the boxes look like they're all they all say literally the same thing the sticker does is, is nothing different it just says hendrick motorsports 40th anniversary four car set 2021 Camaro ZL1 limited edition. All four of them has that. It's nothing special like Kyle Larson or Chase Elliott. It's all generic. 2024 Hendrick Motorsports Kyle Larson QR code action. On top you got NASCAR QR code barcode 164. Now they did change the back of it with ages 6 plus. I thought that used to be like 4 plus or 5 plus. I can't remember but they put a sticker over the 6 plus. Action. Then you have one of the official diecast of NASCAR, NASCAR Cup Series 2024 Hendrick Motorsports. So that's what the box looks like. Overall, looks good. Top says NASCAR. Get the NASCAR sticker. Bottom, trademarks. So overall, that looks good. But man, this paint scheme looks incredible. Now, if you're wondering, this car did get made by itself. Chase Elliott's got made by itself. William Byron did get made by itself. Alex Bowman is the only one that got DMP'd out of this. So if you want the Alex Bowman one, you have to literally buy the four car set to get the Alex Bowman one. Downfall to it. But let's uh, crack this bad boy up and, and let's take a closer look at it. HendrickCars.com. That ruby red looks good. I'm not going to lie. Alrighty, we got that actually out of the package. I went ahead and put the boxes back in since this is the fourth car of it all. So I went ahead and just put it all back in. Actually, if you want to know what it looks like, how it comes and everything, this is actually how the boxes are in there. Looks pretty good. I actually just kept them in the same order that I put them in. But overall, that looks good just like that. I mean, you got the cars going down the middle. But we'll put it on the best side, which is the back, just in my opinion. So here's actually what the car looks like. Car looks incredibly beautiful. You got the Goodyear on the front with... Goodyear Eagles on the tires NASCAR Cup Series sticker you have the five HendrickCars.com and we can all see that wrap did not go on too good Kyle Larson Valvoline and 40 you got hiring technicians yeah that's a downfall to that 
You got HendrickCars.com, Camaro ZL1 with the 5 Valvoline 40. Hiring techs on top with Larson on the back window. Now on the right side, you got HendrickCars.com, which looks the best. Hiring technicians, Larson, gear shifter, seat, steering wheel. You can see inside the car a little bit. The 5, now this side, it looks really good. Now, yeah. You can see where they messed that NASCAR Cup Series sticker up horribly. You got Goodyear, you got the five, you got Sunoco. Man, that sucks about that. That looks horrible. You got Hendrick Motorsports, you got the Chevy symbol ZL1, and that looks crooked. To me, that's not even centered. <clears throat> yeah, there's a lot of flaws with this set. <clears throat> HendrickCars.com, excuse me for clearing my throat. You got the Chevy symbol with Larson. You got the five. The paint scheme looks phenomenal. You can see the flakes in the paint. Whatever you want to call it, it's like ruby red, candy apple, whatever you want to call it. Overall, the car looks good underneath the 2004 Camaro ZL1. Used under license, long racing, made in China. Four tires, new roll. But yeah, you can see the flaw right there. And yeah, that looks horrible. Not even going to go into all that. I mean, all four of these cars actually had flaws to them. But this one's probably up there. It's the best paint scheme. I love this paint scheme. This kit paint scheme is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, in my opinion, this is probably the best paint scheme that actually out of the four car set looks. But <clears throat> overall, it looks good. Now, in my opinion about it, six, what was this, like 40 $40.99, I believe, for all four cars. I mean, you, you're paying for what you get. If you want the 124s, the best of the best, pretty much, yeah. I mean, you're going to pay the money for it. I mean, I would. But, I mean, these are 164s. I mean, you can't really expect them to be 100% perfect, but I forgot the reflaps don't open with the 164s. So, I mean, you got to look at the flaws. I mean, yeah, you're going to have some downfalls to it, but can't really help that it is a 164 so that's going to do it for this one we've done all four and well actually i threw the 40th anniversary car into it because that should actually been the five car set instead of four car set in my opinion but that's the whole four car set looks good love the paint schemes there's flaws on all of them I'm not gonna lie i mean if you want them then i would buy them but my set pretty much has a couple flaws. I mean, I'm not really 100% picky. I just do reviews on them. It's going to stay in my collection. Not can't. I mean, you, you, you could get this set and then send it back to Lionel. What happens if you get a worse set than what you got? So, you're better off just keeping it. I mean, what do you expect? Are 164s? I mean, yeah, $40 for all four. It's money but i just did reviews on them i have fun doing the reviews if you want to see more of them please like comment and subscribe leave in the comment section below if you have all four of them and like i said the only way to get the alex Bowman one is through here because it did get the impede unfortunately and <laughs> that paint scheme was probably going to be the best of all yeah you can go back to monday and or tuesday tuesday because monday we did the alex Bowman one tuesday yeah I feel, still feel bad for my opinion about what the Alex Bowman one was. So if you want to watch that, go back to Tuesday. Watch the William Byron one. You'll understand where I'm coming from. So I will see you tomorrow with a new diecast review. I'm not sure which one we're going to do, but I'll see you tomorrow with a new one. Hope everybody's enjoying their day. And remember, it's only one more day till Friday. So I hope everybody's enjoying their Thursday.